Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL trigger story for beginners. This is our part 4. Inside this video session guys, we will make two triggers and the first trigger actually triggers after insert. We will make one more trigger and it will trigger up before update operation. In the previous video, we had seen about the syntax declaration as well as we had seen one example of creating triggers at our phpMyAdmin. So inside this video, we are going to use the same database called MySQL triggers and inside this, we are going to create two triggers and the two triggers, the condition is something called trigger after insert, trigger before update. So back to browser. Now let's say that we are going to create our new users inside this table called users table but we want to keep track of the created users id. So I am going to make a table and let's say that new users id. Now inside this table I am going to specify only two columns. So if I press enter let's say id and if I write new underscore user id. This column basically contains the newly created users actually we will create inside this users table. So these all are of int type. Scroll here. Now the first key is auto increment and the primary key. So selecting the option and I'm going to press call the save button. Successfully we have created our table. So back to SQL tab. Now let's say that we are ready to create our trigger and this trigger basically fires after insert. So let's say delimiter, delimiter ends here. Now inside this let's say create, create, let's say trigger and let's say that first we need to specify our trigger activation time. So we want after and this will perform inside users table because on inserting any new record inside users table we want to keep track of the created user id so after users and the dml operation that we are going to perform something insert operation so let's say insert this is all about our trigger name next we have to pass our trigger activation time so it should be after and the operation is something called insert and the table we are going to perform on you on users table for less each row after writing these lines we are going to open our begin let's say begin it should not be actually between this is begin and end block now if i make some tab positions here and now let's say that to end our delimiter symbol. Now inside this begin and end, we are going to perform our logic. So here we want that the newly created ID should go inside new users ID table. So let's insert into table name something called new users underscore ID and the column we have something called if I open this table into new tab and go to structure so the column we have something called new underscore user underscore id so i'm going to specify inside this now next we have to pass values and inside this we are going to take our created user id so for that we are going to use our keyword something called new so let's say new dot id this value basically comes from our users table and will be inserted inside this table called new users id remember in our previous video session we have seen that if we want to take our old values so we have to use the keyword something called old and for the new rows or new values we have to use the keyword something called new here so if i write semicolon here and press on go button successfully we have created our trigger now let's say that we are going to insert any data inside users table so if i open again this users table into a new tab go at the sql tab and remember we have now one user inside this users table now we are going to insert the second row so go to sql and let's say that insert into users table and the column we have something called name email its phone 
and we have something called status next I want to specify our values so let's say that this is the name dummy email address dummy phone number and let's say status equal to 1 so these are the values actually we are going to insert into users table now these are the values so if I press go button successfully we have inserted our row inside users table so if I back to our new created table go to browse section ignore all now as we can see that first row has been inserted but this time this column contains user ID 5 what basically it means 5 value indicates that the row has been inserted inside our users table is at position 5 and as we can see here so this is the newly created ID what we have inserted by the help of trigger inside this table so here simply we can understand that for inserting new values or to take the new values we have to use called the new keyword so let's say that before delete before update if we want to use our old values so we have to use old keyword for that now in the next we have we are going to make our second trigger which basically fires on before update operation back to browser now inside this we have already two tables something called users log so if I press inside this and if I truncate all the data from this table or let's say that check all and I am to delete all these rows from this table now this time we have no rows inside this table totally empty now what basically we want we want that we are going to update some row inside this table not inside this table actually inside this table as we know that after update any data inside this table old value get erased now we want to keep log of that old data of that respective user so how can we make a trigger for that so if I open this SQL tab and let's say that delimiter delimiter ends here now inside this let's say create trigger and let's say before because this is activation time and let's say that on the users table and we want on the update operation next we have to pass our trigger activation time so this will be before and the operation we are going to perform called update operation on table name so let's say users for each row now inside this I am to define call begin and end block and the delimiter ends here now inside this begin and end we have to write our logic so let's say that we are going to make our history or log of all the updated users inside this users logs table so back here let's say insert into something called users log and the column we have something called name email phone number and the status these are the columns basically inside this for users logs table now next I am to specify called values and let's say that we want to take the old values from our users table so old dot name old dot email old dot phone old and the status value and put semicolon here all we have done now if I press go button successfully we have created our before users update trigger so let's update some information of any user so go to users table and click on edit button and let's say that I am to edit list Ajay and email address something underscore here and the mobile number something called this is the updated information of this user now if I press go button successfully we have updated the information and reflected inside for this users table now this time we have no old data but remember we have made a trigger to track all the old values of the updated row so if I open users logs table back here reload this page ignore all and as we can see that this is the old information what actually we have updated inside users table 
So successfully guys, inside this video, we had developed two trigger and we had seen about after insert trigger as well as before update trigger. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.